Lily of the Valley. Now in Victorian times, no bride probably would have had a bouquet that didn't contain Lily of the Valley, a real old fashioned plant. In and out of fashion over the years, but uh, beautiful nonetheless, lovely fragrant, bell-like flowers, a beautiful thing. There's only a couple of varieties, uh, but there is a giant one out. Really nice, come in packs of 10 in the catalogue. They they're called pips. Each little plant is called a pip. And you can tell why. They've got these little pips. Look at these beautiful, healthy plants. And they're very much a woodland plant. They like damp, moist conditions, quite shady. Uh, on, a, on a shady patio, these will go beautiful in a pot like this. Um, soak them in water. I'll just put them on. Soak them in water, say overnight. Make sure that these desiccated plants take up as much moisture as they can before they, you plant them. And then really in a pot this size, 10 of these giant ones will be beautiful. The leaves seem to hide the flowers and the flowers droop over. And you can cut the flowers if you want, but I like them in a pot. To, to see, and the perfume, oh, the perfume is beautiful. Now I'm doing it with the magic digit, but you'll probably... I've got a nice silver hallmarked one that we'll take out of a little leather pouch, but I'm using my finger. All you need to do in a, in a good multi-purpose compost is plant these well-soaked pips. It really is as simple as that. Now these are called Bordeaux because they're the giant ones, but out in the woodland garden, these will create a big clump. These will give you joy and pleasure for many years to come. And you can plant the plants that your granny knew as a girl. Beautiful.